All right, so you have reached this far. Might as well start by adding the post physics tick component function. Let's go. So the very first thing we need to do is add new include list in the physcard move component header. Be sure to add the object macros, engine types, network prediction interface finally, the physics body instance, and this is going to be something for another tutorial, the immediate physics declares. Proceed now to create the forward declaration for prediction data server, client and server. Well, where did I got these forward declarations? If you go to the chart movement component, you will see that we have these forward declarations. We need to add both one for server and one for client and also one save it mode you can see it is named save it mode charter but we must rename it as save it mode fish char fish card then a player controller or a controller whatever you choose finally body instant and concrete instance is going to be used later on the tutorial for immediate physics next be sure to include the declaration for the post physics tick function Go to the chart movement component and be sure to copy the use struct chart movement component post physics tick function and the template for the struct to be used later. Right up to the declaration of this F save move chart. Copy and paste that below our forward declarations. And remember that we have to override this function with our own change the name the name charter for fees char fees card and the pointer declaration for just add a new just add the name fees card before the save move pointer after this you have to include the following functions You have to include the tick component, register component tick functions, and we have to actually declare the post tick function and the post tick component. Now we are ready to begin. Oh, yeah, remember to rename this post tick function to your fist card move component and change the chart movement component to your fist card move comp target all right seems like we are ready to go now we have to go to the constructor and inside the constructor we need to declare the functions to initialize the post tick function remember you can look for them on the component constructor i found this by looking for post physics tick function well, start from there look for the post physics tick function and you will see the execute tick diagnostic message and diagnostic content context functions from the post physics tick struct after that, you will see the instructions for the initialization of the post physics tick function inside the constructor. The actual post physics tick component. And we also need the registration for the physics function, which is called as. What's the name is called? It's called register component tick functions which is almost at the end so that's the function that we have to copy and paste with our custom fist card move comp no names so that remember to include the instructions for creation of the function and we also need to declare the tick component post fix the component after the initialize component 
and the registration of the newly created tick function. Let's see if we are ready to go. And we are ready to go. Now our FISCART class has a post physics tick component function. We should be almost ready to begin working with the network prediction interface. There's a catch. We cannot reach the post physics tick function from blueprints. If you want to reach that from blueprints, you will need to create a declaration of a event, an event or a, a delegate. Now, if you want to activate the post physics tick component right away, you just have to go to the constructor, search for the start with tick enabled and change from false to true and set tick function enabled to true. And if you want to see it actually working, go to the post physics tick component and add a G engine F on screen debug message to showcase the post physics tick component. Let's go and start the debugger. Let's build and let's see the result from our operations. There you have it. Now our fizz card is using the post physics tick component. Now we are almost ready to start with the network prediction interface.